You're watching The Blitz, Friday Night High School Football, sponsored by Sonic. Welcome back to the fourth and final quarter of the Blitz. Next up, we have the Dalhar Wolves at the Shallow Water Mustangs. We'll start with this. Shallow Water starts off the game with a handoff to Trevor Wynn. He's going to go and find the end zone. Beautiful run by him and the Mustangs. They're going to strike first. They're going to lead 6-0. to zero. A little later, Dalhar with the ball. It's going to be intercepted by Cannon Reed. Let's go. Their defense getting the play out tonight as well for the Mustangs. Let's just read that name again, guys. Cannon Reed again with the handoff. He's going to end up fighting pay dirt, dives right in, puts the Mustangs up with a commanding lead, 13 to zero. Final score of this one, Shallow Water gets the job done, 71 to 39. Let's head over to some other final scores. We have Bovina beating Crosby 10, 63 to 21. We have Ropes blanking Mooring 38 to 0. We have Sudan topping Lockney 48 to 21. We have New Home. Wow, look at there. They're known for putting their points on the board. They actually average 40 points per game. That's just incredible. 70 to 8 final score over Smyer. Next up, we have the Floyd Data Whirlwinds at the New Deal Lions. So we're starting with this. It's going to be a sack by Andrew Ramos right here. That New Deal toughness right there. Okay, now we're going to also go in again, continuing with the New Deal Lion toughness. Kendrick Nelson running right into your living room here. Up close and personal. Look out for him. He has a size, the stature, and the heart. He gets the end zone right there. New Deal leads 7 to nothing with 8.05 left in the first quarter. Now, Dudu forces Floyd Day to punt, but it comes free. Whirlwinds take the ball on it, and they're going to be back on the other side of the field. But again, it's going to be New Deal able to stuff them and hold them scoreless in the first half. Now, final scoreless one, New Deal gets the job done 42 to 7 over Floyd Data. And let's move to the last round of scores tonight. We have Trinity Christian. Okay, guys, they're on the road. They're going to play Lake Country 49 to 0. Also, a reminder that the Lubbock Christian Eagles will play Bishop Goring Crusaders on a Saturday that will be at a neutral site. We also wanted to give you a score update on Amarillo Caprock in Monterey Plainsman. Like we mentioned, it was a back and forth battle. And unfortunately, Monterey came so close once again. Final score, Caprock will top Monterey 14-13. Coach Judd Thrash in the Monterey plays been still looking, still fighting, and trying to get that first district win. Also, we also remind you guys, uh, the Texas Tech Red Raiders, okay? They're on a bye week. They have the bye week blues. You mentioned how high school has the bye week blues, but now Texas Tech has the bye week blues. They're going to be back in action against the West Virginia Mountaineers. That will be homecoming. That game will kick off at 2 p.m and we'll have a lot to coverage leading up to that game because we have a lot of Texas Tech ties when you think of someone that's on the West Virginia offensive side. We won't give you too much there. Just make sure you guys tune in all next week for full coverage. We want to say thank you to 50 Street Caboose for feeding our Friday Night Blitz crew. Your support means a lot and helps fuel us on Friday nights. Now for news anytime, follow KLBK News on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or log on to everythinglubbock.com. Make sure you tune in next Friday at 1010 for week nine. Whoa. Okay, we're just flying by the season of high school football. Have a great weekend, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all next week.